Ну, хорошо, ну, бывает, я не вижу. Ты пойдешь, мы пойдем. Это It's a girl. Plus, you know, I gotta give off the good, the good vibes, good energies, so she can have the good oxytocin. I just lit up a whole bunch of candles, you know, get her in a good mind, get her in a good groove. Um, King, he should be here in a little bit, his daddy bringing him. Um, so I know it's gonna put her in a good, good spirit, because we all know King funny. Like, <laughs> So hopefully he ain't, he ain't too sleepy. He went to bed so he can keep her in a good mood. Wait, it's just getting time. I'm ready. I ain't even, you know. Normally, uh, you know, first time dads they be nervous, but I'm more anxious. I'm just ready to to hold my hold my little girl. And just you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to be a daddy. I'm ready. To, be a protector, I'm ready to be a provider. I know I got it. Uh, my life. Almost 10 a.m. Man, I've been up since like five. Having contractions. They like 10 minutes apart and they last them for about 30 seconds or so. I ain't gonna lie. What? This uh, in the pack stinks. But, uh,. But he just made me some huh? cramp tea. I was recording an update. That was steep. No, I'm talking about in the pack. Oh. They were just kind of screwing over. I ain't put no in there. Dude. Why you ain't put no honey? You said, you said, do you want me to put some honey? I said, yes. I know, but I was going to put the honey in there. I already know it's going to need honey because it's tea. I'm not going to just drink tea. But um, yeah, they like 30 seconds apart. So we still kind of in the early labor stages. I told my midwife and my doula already. Um, I took a shower and that kind of helped with some of the contractions. They're not like excruciating pain, but it's, it's kind of bad. It's probably like a, I feel like I'm getting one right now. It's like a,
Oh, a real bad period cramp. Mm. Wait, did I just hear you say your cramp, uh, your contraction is 30 seconds apart? No. So if I, I did say they're 30 seconds long. Mm -hmm. So you need to call Montana. Ooh, okay. So this one's over. Ooh, yeah, it's like a really bad period cramp that lasts for 30 seconds. But I've been, um, I took a shower that really helped, like a really hot shower. I think I might take another one as they get worse because that hot water really feel good. And right now I'm sitting on the um, exercise ball while I do my hair and makeup just to relieve some of that pressure. How you feel, Elijah? I feel amazing. You excited? Yeah. Absolutely. Whew. Yeah, I'm not a good gauge of like asking how something feels. Cause like at this point it's been five hours and I'm pretty sure they feel worse, but I just keep thinking they feel the same. You think she'd be here by 7 p.m.? I hope so. If she don't, then she needs to just come. That'd be cool. Feet. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm about to use the bathroom. They want to see everything. Your brother is not uh you know, I think he just got off of work. You know, he worked 18 hours a day. But I don't know why he is tired. Choices. 
I'm gonna hold my hand. I'm gonna put your other hand. Uh huh. You're doing great. I know. Sleepy. I'm gonna try again to be it. You hear? Mm -hmm. I said, just you hear Brittany? Yeah, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to like actually fall asleep.
Oh, I didn't know you start. <laughs> <laughs> Did my thing say have four of you? Like the number? Uh -huh. Oh, well, I don't know how far we are, but I feel like we almost there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And she said she could feel the baby, so that's good news. She said you was a wave for it, uh, one centimeter. Yeah. Mm, so we need to hurry up. <laughs> no, I'm rushing my baby. No, I haven't rushed her yet. First, I was. Every time I look at my phone, so many messages. Oh, no. <laughs> what you know? Mm, I don't know. It just feel good to stand like this. <laughs> She about to get, uh, <laughs> she probably gonna be watching this, so I can't even do it. Uh, uh, why not? Oh, shoot. Ah, shoot. King out there giving mama a run for her money. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. She wants to come see if it's warm or not. Okay. She wants to see? Mm-hmm. Right. So we about to get in the birthday tub. I'm gonna get in there with her. Where we going? Let's see it out. 
I'm just go with the flow because I don't know what to expect. Something stronger. I just wanted to get on here real quick just to say I hear you in her screen, baby. I'm so proud of you. You're so strong. You're phenomenal, baby. I love you. Love. <laughs> I love you. So many things I've got to tell you. But I'm okay, so we're going to tell the story of um, her actual delivery along with the pictures we got since our um, video got deleted. So at this point in time, <laughs> King, he really wanted to play in the water um, as we was filling the pool up. So I was like, just go ahead and let him because he had been so good, well, as good as King can be during the whole labor. <laughs> And I know well, he, he was just, being good. I think, I think, yeah, overall he was being good. So I was like, let's let him do it because he, he was, at first my grandma kept telling him no. I was like, he ain't going to hurt nothing to play in the water for a little bit. So he came and he was very excited to <laughs> put his hand in the water. I thought that was so cute. Sharp as a tag. And he also thought that he delivered the baby since he did that. So that his was, sleeves pulled up. <laughs> so he did his part. And then, then this part where I'm smiling. Um, this was like probably in between the contraction because once I got into that pool, the contraction started coming really, really, really fast. Like before I got actually in the water, that was probably like maybe like three minutes apart. But once I got in the water, they seemed like it was coming like back to back. So, um, this smell was like probably. Just like a black love type smell. Just... No, I was laughing at something you said. I know, but the picture is like a. Oh uh, yeah, you made a little joke and I was at, I'm surprised I was even able to smell I was in a lot of pain at this point. As you can see on the next picture. I think that was probably in the middle of the contraction. And at this point I think I was crying. I think so. <laughs> yeah I was. Because the pain was getting really, really intense. And this um this was when I was getting kind of like irritated. The whole time during the rest of the day, I was pretty much in good spirits and you know, kind of still being able to be happy even though I was in pain. But at this point, this is when the attitude start kicking in, I would say. And then this one, this probably like in between the contractions, I don't look that in pain. I was probably just catching my breath before the next contraction came because that was coming very, very, very quick. So as I was in that position, leaning back on Elijah, I kept feeling so much pressure. Um, I also didn't realize how far along I was during this part because my midwife never told me exactly how dilated I was. She just said we're almost there. So I didn't know if that meant I was six centimeters or eight, or I didn't know what that meant. So I was like, I just thought I was in a lot of pain, but obviously I probably was like nine centimeters or something at this point. So, um, I kept feeling so much pressure sit and lean back on him. So I was like, maybe if I lean forward, that'll take some of the pressure out because that had helped me through the rest of the contractions earlier in the day. So I, um, switched positions and I put like most of my weight on the front of the pool and, um, <laughs> shut out the breathing. Yeah, you can see my doula right there walking through a contraction probably. And um, here's another one. She's walking through a contraction. And at this point, they was getting so bad. Like, I really wanted to just stop and give up. I told her I didn't want to do this anymore. Like, it was too late. <laughs> but I really was over at this point in the labor. Like, these contractions are probably almost the worst pain I felt in my entire life. Like, I feel like I was finna die. And at this point, they literally was back to back. I don't even remember having a break. It was just contraction, contraction, contraction. So then, um, I think at this picture, I don't think I was pushing yet. I think 
I was about to start pushing. So if you can, as you can see, I had to switch positions because I almost flooded our whole apartment. <laughs> um, putting so much pressure on the pool that I was sinking down the side of the pool and all the water started flooding everywhere. I honestly did not care because I was in so much pain. But um, they had me sit like back up onto a, a birthing stool under the water. So I'm actually in these pictures sitting on a birthing stool. But it's like inside of the water. And that was a very smart idea for my midwife because I was able to take some of that pressure off and still like, have something to press down on. <laughs> so, um, at this point, I think this is right yeah, before. That's, that's like go time. Yeah, I think this is right before, or it's probably like the last contraction before I start pushing. Because I was just feeling a lot of pressure. I didn't know that it was like literally time to push her out. Like, this picture is probably like five and minutes. And I think or right, so before, before she was right before that, Christina had said, like, She's this much that I could feel the baby head this much. Yeah, she was pretty much like in the so top started, of my vagina at that point. I started getting real emotional. Yeah, so at this point you can see why she's getting real emotional. Um, I'm literally screaming out in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh now, but that was very painful at this point. So was I, I don't think I was pushing. I was probably about to start pushing. And then right here, I felt this really strong urge. It's like it took over my whole body because mentally I was not ready to push. I was very scared because I never felt what it feels like to push a baby out. I felt contractions because I've had a kid. But with King, I had got epidural. So I never felt the feeling of pushing a baby out. So I was so nervous. I just wasn't ready. I kept trying to ignore um, my body. But after this point, I couldn't ignore it. It was like a reflex. So I, my body started pushing itself. So... I think this is like when she was she being born right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this clip is when she was actually getting born. Um, I pushed her out about two pushes, um, and she came out. So my water never broke like throughout my whole labor. So when she came out, she was still kind of like inside the sack around her head, and then I guess like during um, during me pushing it, it popped. So it was just stuck to the top of her head when she actually came out. I thought that was so cool. Um, but yeah, push her out her extremely bad. Like that was on a scale of one to ten, a hundred. And it was it was like it was that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. But it was so it was so quick. Like the pushing part, it only lasted probably three minutes because like I said, I, it was two pushes and she slid right out. With so no tears. Yeah, and luckily I did not tear or push her out that quick. But it was like um. It's kind of like a nasty comparison, but it was like a poop. Like you just have to get it out. <laughs> so I just pushed it real quick and she slid right out. Um, yeah, these pictures is when she was being born. And then that's right after when they did the skin and skin and she was getting all emotional. <laughs> yeah, her grandma is real excited. You can see her, her grandpa, her aunt. Um, my mom over there consoling Elijah and King right next to me. Yep, so this part, he was just, you know, sitting here. I was in an extreme amount of pain still because I was still having contractions after she came out. They just wasn't as intense as the ones to birth her. Um, so I was still in pain a little bit, but I was like happy that it was over. And then as you can see, Elijah is <laughs> and then King's standing there. He was so excited to finally meet Seven. Yeah. So when she came out, <laughs> she pooped. Like, as soon as she came out, she pooped. And it somehow got on my hand. I guess it was I was probably before they wrapped her in a blanket. So I hold his hand with a little bit of baby poop on my hand. And then that's our beautiful baby girl after she met her first debut. But overall, I think her birth was like the best experience I've ever like done in my life. I'm very proud of myself for being able to say I did a natural birth um, at home. Um, that was the first time in our, both of our family that anybody has um, done a natural birth at home. Probably, shoot, I don't know. 
I would say ever because you know back in the day they had to, uh, but since well, hospitals, home yeah, I would say since hospitals existed, probably this is the first one of both our families, and it was a really great experience, like being able to labor how you want, get in whatever position you want, being your own clothes, not hooked up to an IV, um, able to take a nap if you want to, you no know, doctors keep rushing in, um, you know, stress you out. You can literally do whatever you want whatever you need to do to get through the pain and it's a lot less stress because mentally you're going to be in a better um place you can have whoever you need to have around you i was able to have you know my doula my son my um you know my fiance they all were able to help me get through each contraction and that's the main thing with the pain of having a baby without medication is just take it one contraction at a time that's my biggest advice um don't. You definitely need a support team. You do. Because it was times when I wanted to give up, but then they would always come and tell me I'm doing a good job. We almost there. Remind me of why I wanted this. And we was able to get through it. But yeah, my biggest tip is just taking one contraction at a time. And then when it's time to push, just do it. Don't try to fight your body. Your body knows best. You have to trust your body. Um, what else? And overall, just stay calm. I think that's important. But like I said, this is definitely, if I ever have another kid, I'm definitely um, doing a home birth again. As of right now, I don't think I want to, but probably like as the years go on, I forget about how much pain that was. Maybe I might consider it. Maybe. I don't know. But right now, no. <laughs> but what would you say? How did you like it? Um, this was a first time experience for me. It's my first child. So uh, it was definitely emotional. I had told myself I wasn't going to cry. But it's like as soon as I seen her, I just couldn't hold it in. But as far as like the actual home birth experience, I think that was best for me. Uh, my favorite part is just because I didn't have to lay on like a little couch. Because <laughs> uh, I'm like 6'2". So that would have been kind of tough. But um, yeah, overall it was pretty cool. I had my parents there, her parents, uh, her grandma. Everything was good. It just, you know, it was everything I thought it was going to be and more. Yeah, it was definitely more than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what I thought having a baby was going to be like, but I was definitely, um, like, it was more than what I imagined. But it, like I said, overall, it was a beautiful experience. If I could choose to do it again, I definitely would. I would recommend any mother that is um, physically capable to give a home birth a, a try. Well, not a try, but do it if you are able to. I think it's a life-changing experience and that you will enjoy it. So She off the tea right now. <laughs> but, but yeah, this is our precious baby, Seven. Seven Renee Alexander. So... Thanks for everything. Thanks for watching. My life. <laughs>